Hey there, once again, good morning from the Higher Grounds Podcast. Thank you for joining us one more time here as we look at Joshua chapter number one and verse number eight at some steps to scriptural success and we wind this to a close today. I want to look at this verse of scripture. I'll read its entirety and then look at the last part of it. Bible says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So we've seen the importance of embracing the word of God, holding it dear, not departing from it. The importance of examining the word of God, studying it, meditating upon it, letting the word of God be the preeminent focal point of our life. But then today, watch these two little words in the latter part of this verse. He said, you're doing all this that thou mayest deserve. And then here's the words, to do. He said, according to all that is written therein. He said, the reason you're embracing it and the reason you're examining it is for you to be able to exercise it out of your life. Once you learn what this Bible has to say for you to live a scripturally successful life, unless you avail yourself of it, you're selling yourself short of what God has. The biblical definition of having scriptural success is just doing what God said. But watch what it hinges upon. He said, you're doing this. He said, according to all that is written in the word. He said, for then, watch this phrase, thou shalt make thy way prosperous. God says, I am putting the 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 blessings of serving me for success not upon himself but upon you he said i've told you what to do i've shown you what to do he said if you've availed yourself of them you're going to use the scriptures to make your own life successful so many people get it mixed up they feel that if they live according to the scriptures and do what God says, then God has no other choice but to make their life prosperous. God will honor his word. Make no doubts about it. But he said, you have the ability to prosper and to make your own life successful just by living according to the scriptures. You know, the things in your life that you wish could improve to be better, to see God do more of or to watch as you accomplish more for the work of the Lord in your life. Don't blame God for it. Find out what the scripture says. Exercise the scripture and watch God allow your life to have scriptural success therein. The success that God desires for us to have is involved with the scriptures. It's found within them. And unless I avail myself of them, I have no right to complain about my life and the state that I find myself in. Avail yourself of the scriptures. Examine them. Embrace them. Exercise what's in them. And just see if your life is not more successful. Until next time, have a wonderful day, God bless, and thanks for tuning in to the Higher Grounds Podcast.